Hello, my name is Maria Ramirez, ID number 3415137, and I'm part of the summer 2019 class. This clip will be demonstrating how to restrain for a lateral saphenous mani puncture and lateral recumbency. So lateral recumbency just means that they're going to be on their side laying down, and we do this by grabbing all four legs, slowly lifting and pushing them down. You want to make sure your arm is over their neck and shoulder area. Your hand is holding the front paws. Your other hand is going to occlude the vein or hold or close it off. So you do this by making sure you're behind the knee and you're just applying a small amount of pressure or squeezing it. Your sat lateral saphenous vein runs down from the hock up the leg. So that's why you're squeezing right behind the knee. This clip will demonstrate how to hold the dog for a cephalic venue puncture in sternal position. So in sternal position just means he's going to be laying down on his chest and his stomach. So we start by, that, by having him sitting on the table. You take his front paws and just laying him out gently. You want to apply some pressure using your upper body in case he gets up. Um, you're also behind him in case he wants to scoot back. You're going to prevent that. Both arms are on his side to stabilize the patient. Your one hand will be holding his head in case he wants to turn and bite. It will prevent that from happening. Um, using your palm, you gently want to push the elbow forward. You're going to be occluding or cutting off with your thumb, and you want to ro roll your thumb laterally in order to expose the cephalic vein. Cephalic veins run on top of both forelimbs, which is why this is the optimal position. The front, the cephalic vein is usually used for IV cap. We'll be doing feline medial saphenous lateral cumbency restraint. So first I'm going to go through it and then I'm going to demonstrate on how to do it. So lateral cumbency just means on their side and laying down. You're going to grab all four paws, slightly lift them off of the table, lay them safely on their side. Then you're going to make sure your one arm is over their neck and shoulder region so they can't move their neck. You're going to hold their paws with your hand. Your other hand is going to be holding the leg that's on the top and their tail. You're going to try to chop down on their bottom leg, exposing the medial saphenous vein. That vein runs from the hock up to their groin, and it's usually common for blood draws in cats. Um, now I'm going to demonstrate it. down, grab the back paw, and that's how you do a medial saphenous lateral recumbency restraint for blood drops. This clip will be explaining how to restrain for a cephalic venue puncture in sternal position. So my cat's in sternal position right now, which means he's sit laying down on his stomach and his chest. Um, you get them like this. If they're sitting down, you could just coax their feet forward and they'll, they'll be in sternal position. So how I like to do it is I like to get from behind in case they want to push the rear end backwards. I'm there to control it. Both my hands are on his side for stability. My one hand is grabbing his head so he doesn't jerk back and forth and I can prevent somebody from getting bit. My other hand is going to gently push his elbow forward. My, other, my thumb is going to roll his vein laterally. This just helps to stabilize the cephalic vein, which runs par, um, up on both of the arms. Um, I'm pushing down in order to occlude it, which means close off, and he's perfect.